Hey guys, what is up? Happy November! I hope your October was amazing and then you had an awesome Halloween whether you stayed home, went trick or treating, or went to a really awesome Halloween party because who doesn't love dressing up and having such an awesome time? Uh, but happy November! I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays besides Christmas. Um, and I'm so excited to be doing a October favorites because I have so much that I have been loving for the month of October. So let's get started. So the first thing I have is the new Bethany Moda perfume called Bethany Noel. I absolutely love it. When I heard that she's coming out with a new perfume, I had to get it. Um, I've loved her first one and this one smells amazing. I can't really describe it. It's like sweet, but kind of also dark at the same time. I can't really explain it, um, but I absolutely love the scent. Next, I have three nail polishes. One I'm actually wearing right now, and it is by the company Julep in the color Evelyn. I absolutely love it, and um, I just realized how much I loved it when I put it on for the first time in a long time, and I realized that I'm going to be wearing this a lot throughout the month of November and on through the rest of the holidays. And the next nail polish is by Essie, and it's called Island Hopping. I fell in love with this color last year when I first got it, and I still love it again. Uh, I rediscovered it a few weeks ago, and I realized how much I had loved this color and why I bought it, because I loved the color and how it went with everything in my wardrobe, and I am definitely going to be continuing wearing this throughout the November month. The last color is the newest to my collection. It's by OPI and it's called Got the Blues for Red. I absolutely love this color. I went to a salon and got my toes done with this color and I fell in love with it that I had to pick it up and I wore it on my nails and I loved it and I am definitely going to be wearing this during the Christmas holidays because you know this is a great Christmas color. The next two items are two pieces of clothing and they are both from the Bethany Moda collection. They are both the same style but different colors and have different patterns. The first one is this gorgeous pink color. I absolutely love the detailing and I love how it's short in the front, long in the back and I love the little detailings also on the shoulders as well. And I have absolutely been loving this. When I saw this on in one of Bethany Moda's videos, um, I knew I had to get it because it was so cute. Next is the same sweater, but in the black um, in a different pattern, as you can see. Um, same detailings on the shoulders, but different pattern, um, but same style, and I absolutely love this. When I first got this one, I wore it all the time, and I still love it. It goes great with leggings and boots and possibly a cute sweater, um, but I have been loving these two sweaters for the month of October. Next are these flats right here, and the uh, designer is Rampage, and they're just these cute little simple ballet flats. I absolutely love them. I got them from TJ Maxx for a super uh, cheap price, um, and I had been looking for a pair of flats. Uh, I recently wore these to a wedding in October, and I fell in love with them, and uh, they have just been my go-to flats. And I also had just been looking for a really good pair of flats, and I love them so much. Next is a mug. I recently made this in October. Uh, I had this idea in my head and I was like, I have to go paint this on a mug because if you don't know me, I love watching YouTube and I love all these amazing YouTubers. Some of them I met, most of them I've just watched for a really long time. And so I decided to put all of them on a mug. I absolutely love this mug. It's become one of my favorites. I've used it so much throughout the month of October. Um, I love to drink my coffee in it. I love to drink my tea in it. Uh, but I just had this brainstorm idea and I was like, why don't I just put all my favorite YouTubers that I've been watching on a mug. So that's what I did. So um, on the inside it has a YouTube play button on this side and then on the other side it says I love YouTubers with a little heart and then it has little hearts on the handle and then all around it it's got all YouTubers that I love to watch um, uh, in different colors. So we have Marcus Butler, we have Naomi Smart, we have Hannah Hart, and you can't really see any yellow, but that's okay. And we have Ingrid Nelson, we have the Sicconi Jellies, we have Troy Savon, we have Connor Franta, Superfruit again in yellow, which you can't see. We have Sprinkle of Glitter down here, and we have, let's see, we have Pointless Blog and Zoella, we have Tanya Burr, uh, Joey Graceffa, uh, Jim Chapman, 
Bethany Motive, Q Girls Hairstyles, The Shade Tards, one of my favorite families on YouTube, uh, Corey Cool, Tyler Oakley, and Thatcher Joe. Um, I just love this mug. It's one of my favorites. And I am so happy that I decided to create this beautiful creation. I absolutely love it. Next are four books that I currently are still in the middle of or um, have already finished. So the first one is the 10th anniversary Twilight edition um, and she came out with a, another story called Life and Death and it's a reimagined version, version of Twilight um, instead of the boy being a vampire and the girl being the damsel in distress, it's the other way around. So the girl's the vampire and the boy is the damsel in distress. Um, and it's really interesting to read through the exact same storyline as Twilight, but see it differently um, as everybody is changed and there's everybody's names are changed and the vampire is a girl, which is really interesting. Uh, but I absolutely love it. It definitely caught my attention when I saw that she came out with a different story about a boy falling in love with a vampire. Um, so that was really cool. Um, and it's really interesting to see everybody's names um, messed or uh, switched around. So. Um, Mike Newton is a girl, and Jessica is a boy, and Eric is a girl, and uh, Carlisle, like the whole Colon family is all switched around. So everybody from Jasper to Alice to Carlisle to Esme is switched around to um, Dr. Cullen is actually a woman, and then the uh, wife who was in Twilight, the Esme, is um, a boy, which is really interesting. It's just all different, but it's really cool. Same storyline, just a little bit of a different twist. Um, so if you loved Twilight and um, you're really interested in reading this book, I highly recommend it. It's really good. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's just really weird seeing the characters that I read in Twilight being totally different and changed, but I still think it's a good read. Um, so if you loved Twilight, then I highly recommend going out and reading this. But enough about this book, on to the next. So this one I got when it first came out and it is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Um, I got this when it first came out and I was so, 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 so excited that um, it was coming out because I love Zoe, she's amazing. Um, and I got this book and I was like almost, I was over halfway through it. I was on chapter like 30 something or 40 something, I don't even know. Um, and uh, then I stopped and I didn't read it again until just recently I finished it um, and that was just really bad. I think it's just because I got caught up in my college life and I never actually got to physically sit down and read a book because I was just too busy and too attracted by other things. So finally I finished it and it was really, really, really good. I really loved it. Um, it was amazing. I'm so proud of Zoe and I'll probably definitely read this over again. I'm not sure if I will, but it was really good and I'm really glad that I finally finished it and it's not one of those books that's sitting on my shelf that's not finished yet. So, yeah, I'm super excited, and I'm actually currently reading her other book, A Girl on Lennon Tour. I'm already on, like, chapter 10, which is crazy, um, and it's actually really, really good so far. I love Zoe. She's awesome, um, but, yeah, these two books are really good. Definitely read The Girl Online and Girl on Lennon Tour, because they are both awesome. Last but not least, he is one of my favorite, favorite YouTubers. I actually got to meet him at Vlogger Fair in Seattle last summer, and it is... Binge by Tyler Oakley. It is amazing. I laughed and I cried so hard. Um, there was one chapter that I just was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to like go to Tyler and be like, I'm so sorry. Um, and I wanted to give him like the biggest hug ever. So next time I meet him, I'm gonna give him give him a super big hug. Be like, I read your book and I cried. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, it was just a really amazing book. So if you love Tyler Oakley as much as I do, then I highly recommend going and getting binge by him, obviously. Um, and also reading it on or listening to it on Audible was really, really good too because you got to have him read it to you and hear it more in depth um, um, and more personal, I think. But um, I did that with Connor Francis' book and it was amazing. 
Um, but I really loved Binge. I love seeing all the cute little pictures of him. So adorable. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I definitely love this book. It was one of my favorite books of October. And I'm definitely going to be reading this um, probably again um, because it was that good. And I loved hearing about Tyler because I absolutely love him. And he is another one of my favorite YouTubers of all times. Um, and he's just really special and he's really inspirational to me. So yeah, go get binge for Tyler Oakley because it's awesome. Next uh, is TV shows. Um, I have been so behind on TV shows, it's ridiculous. And I recently just got caught up on Castle and Bones. Um, Bones is about a forensic anthropologist who works alongside the FBI. And it's just their little adventures together and stuff like that. And it's really, really good. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. All current seasons are on Netflix. Um, and then the next uh, TV show is called Castle, and it's the same storyline, except it's about a writer who wants to base his next novel off a detective working at the NYPD in New York. So, yeah, it's really, really good. And then Once Upon a Time, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I've only watched a few episodes, but so far it's pretty good. Um, and I absolutely have been loving it. I'm not caught up all the way yet, so no, spo no spoilers, please. Um, but yeah, I have been loving those three TV shows. They are amazing. Moving on to music, um, I have been loving Pentatonic's new album. It is incredible. It's been on repeat. Ever since I got it, it's been on complete repeat. It's amazing. I also have been loving Demi Lovato's album. It's really, really good. I love her song Confident and Back to the Old Back to My Old Ways is a really good song too. I absolutely have been loving her album. And I also have been loving Trisha Vine's album, obviously. It was my favorite for last month. Um of September. Um I absolutely fell in love with it and I just, I love music in general, um, but yeah, those three are my favorite music of October. Next is a cell phone case. I have been loving this so much, and it is my psych phone case. I absolutely love it. Um, I definitely did a lot of wear out of this in the month of September and October, so this one is absolutely amazing, and I love it, and it's my baby because I love Psych and it is like the best show ever. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. All the seasons are on Netflix. So cool. So yeah, I love this so much. Anyway, that was the end of my October favorites. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. And if you love it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Uh, it would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be confident and stay beautiful. Bye, guys.